Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use Sendy to send email templates created by the Postcards app by Design Moto. What we're going to cover is how to use the custom tags provided by Sendy in your email template and how to add the images you download from the template in the Sendy app. We're not going to cover how to install or set up Sendy. You should have that ready to go before this video starts. So let's get started. When you open your Sendy web app, you should be seeing the brands page. And this is basically how to organize different brands that you're working with. If you have multiple ones, I just created an example one called brand one. So if I click it, I am now in the brand one dashboard and I can create campaigns and templates and all that. I am just running Sendy locally on my computer, but it should work the same no matter what kind of setup you have going. So let's go to all templates and create a new template. Here is where you're going to create a email template that you're going to send to everyone. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that there is a little section about the tags that are available. So if you add this web version tag in your, in this area right here, it'll provide a link to view the email through the web, as well as other personalization tags, such as name, email, current day number, and all that. You can even have custom field tags, but I won't get into that right now. So if you press the source button in the editor, you'll see that there is code. We're going to be replacing this code with the code provided by the Design Moto postcards template. So let's get started on that. In my postcards app, I've already created a simple little template, nothing too fancy, header seven, content four, call to action one, footer one, feature five, and all that. So we have to make a few changes here. Since we want to add some personalization tags to our template, we have to edit the text. So. If you click on the section right here, it will open up the menu to be editable. And to add the name tag, click the title option to edit the title text. And that will open up the option to edit the text. And if you add some text like hi, you'll notice on the left side, the interface was updated. So now we can just type, hey, name, like the tag says, which is just name in brackets. Um, yep, so it looks like this, and that will add the uh, subscriber's name to the email when it gets sent. So what we have to do next is add the unsubscribe link to our footer area. So I'm going to copy this by pressing control C and in this email, we're going to replace it with the unsubscribe link. So in column two, I'll scroll all the way down and I'll find the URL text. It will be, I will change it to unsubscribe. And for the URL, I will paste in the unsubscribe tag. Now we're done. And we can now export it. So I will download as a zip. I'll click download zip. And I will save it to my desktop, the zip folder. Open this bad boy up. J 
just like that. And I will extract it to my desktop where I will just create a new folder. Let's call it Sendy. Open this bo bad boy up. And I will extract it, those files that I just downloaded into the new folder. And if I open index.html, you'll see the template we just created. Now that we have our template ready, I can right click this and press edit with notepad plus plus, but this will work with any text editor you have. And as you can see, the HTML that was generated by the template is all here. You don't have to know everything that's going on. You just have to be able to copy and paste it. So let's do that. Back in our Sendy interface, let's press the source button to prepare the HTML to be edited and go back to the Notepad++, press Control A to select everything, Control C to copy everything, and go back to the source code, highlight everything, and press Control V to paste it in. Now our code is in the template, and if we save it, the name is required. So let's just call it test template. Now it is saved, and if we press preview, you'll see that the HTML and CSS is working for the email template. All right, next up, we have to add in our images. And in Sendy, adding images to our email template is a little bit frustrating and tedious. So how to do it is basically you go to the editor area right here and you press this little button that says image. This opens up a new menu that will allow you to add images. You go to upload, you open up your file, which would be in Sendy and images. And unfortunately you cannot highlight and drag and drop everything. You have to do everything one by one. So the first image we're going to upload is button-app-store-dark.png. You have to remember the name as you'll see in a second. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna press send it to the server and now it is uploaded. And we have our new URL for the image. I'm just going to copy this, press okay. And it automatically inserted the image here. We don't want that to happen, we don't want to add it in the template area. So I'm just going to press backspace to delete this image. Go back to the source tab and remember what the image was called. The image was called the, um, it was called button-app-store-dark. So to update it in the code, you press control F to search for the image, which is button-app dash dark, I think. Nope, not that. It's button dash app dash store dash dark. So we press control F, search for button dot dash app dash store dash dark. Press enter. It will highlight the text and you just update it by changing the source text from what was generated to the URL. And the URL will be different depending on what website you're running. I'm just running locally, so this is my IP address. And so if I press save template after updating the code and I press preview, you'll see that the image is now there when it wasn't before. So let's go through this one or two more times. Go back to the editor, press the image button, go to upload, choose a file. Let's select this one, button-google-play-dark. 
open, send it to the server, copy the URL that was generated, delete the image that was auto-placed, press source, type control F, search for button dash Google, button dash Google dash play dash dark. And it is right here. Update the source text to what you found. Press save, little save button right here. And now the Google Play button is good to go. Let's do this for the background because the background is a little bit complicated. So I press the image button, I'm going to upload. I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to choose the background image. Send it to the server. Copy the URL. And delete this image. Go to the source tab. Search for header-7-image. dash dash And you'll see that there are set three different places where it has to be updated. If you only update in the first area, things aren't going to look different. So you get to up update it in all the areas that you see it. And hit the save button. And there we go. I'm going to press save template. Hit preview. And there we go. We added three images that weren't there before, but now are. So you can go through the list one by one, just uploading and updating all the images and everywhere that it needs to be. There are too many for this tutorial. Uh, I think you get the point of how to do it. And basically at this point, you can create a campaign and use this template. So let's create a campaign, create a new campaign new campaign. Actually, you have to make sure you remember what the template was called. Template was called test template. So I'm going to go create a new campaign. Going to press, I'm going to select the test template for this campaign. And it will add the template that we just created. And you can customize all the fields and all that. You can press save and save and next. So now we are in the final page of the campaign and you can see the preview and everything. You can send it, you can start it. And if your email is test at test.com, you can test send this newsletter. Obviously replace it with your own email. If you press it, it'll send and you'll be able to see your email template. So that is how to use Sendy and postcards.